Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you another special techniques of integration that is the substitution z equals tangent half theta when and how it is used. Okay, so say we wish to integrate the integral of dx over 1 minus cosine x. One good idea to find the integral of this function is to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, and that is 1 plus cosine of x. So multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 1 plus cosine x, that will lead us to the, the integral of the quantity 1 plus cosine x dx. And then the denominator exhibits sum and difference of two binomial with similar terms. And that leads us to 1 minus cosine squared x. And then by trigonometric identity, 1 minus cosine squared x is equal to one, uh, sine squared x. And this integral will lead us to the quant integral of 1 plus cosine x dx all over sine squared x. And again, this integral can be written as a sum of the integrals of 1 dx over sine squared x, that's integral of dx over sine squared x, plus cosine x dx all over sine squared x dx. And then again, we all know that 1 over sine is equal to cosine, cosecant, sorry, and therefore, integral of dx over sine squared x is equal to the integral of cosecant squared x. And then again, cosine x dx over sine squared x can be written of this form. Okay, so cosine x over sine x and one over, times 1 over sine x. And again, 1 over sine x is equal to cosecant x and cosine x over sine x is equal to cotangent of x. And then therefore, this integrand will lead us to integral of cosecant x cotangent x dx. And now you see a straightforward integration formula to integrate into cosecant squared x and cosecant x cotangent x. And that will lead us to negative cotangent x, that's the integral of cosecant squared x, and negative cosecant x, that's the integral of cosecant x cotangent x dx, okay? Say, so what if we want to integrate dx all over 3 plus 5 cosine x? So, uh, example number 1 and 2 are of the same kind, they only differ on this sign, and then 1 becomes 3, and then uh, there is a coefficient for cosine here, which is 5. So again, uh, apply the same principle that we applied for number 1, multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate. So that will become 3 minus 5 cosine x all over 3 minus 5 cosine x. And that will lead us to the integral of 3 minus 5 cosine x dx all over. Again, product of this is 9 minus 25 cosine squared x. However, what did you notice now is that we can no longer apply the same principle that we applied for our first example because there is no direct uh, trigonometric identity that we can use to simplify 9 minus 25 cosine squared x. So one brilliant idea to find the integral of dx over 3 plus 5 cosine x is to use the substitution z equals tangent half theta. Okay, when to use this substitution? When the integral contains equation of the form 1 over f of theta, and f of theta is a trigonometric function, okay? This substitution z equals tangent half theta allows us to use this triangle. I will let this angle to be half theta so that I can represent uh, the angle of tangent on the triangle. And since the denominator of the left side is equal to 1, then you use the Sokotowa principle uh, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent, so we can write z here, 1 here, and then the hypotenuse side is equal to the square root of 1 plus z squared, okay? So using the triangle, we will now generate sine half theta, okay? Then so Katawa principle, opposite over hypotenuse, that's z over 1, the square root of 1 plus z squared, Cosine 1 half theta equals adjacent side over the hypotenuse. That's 1 over the square root of 1 plus z squared. And then theta is derived from here. You get the inverse function of z equals tangent half theta. That's th theta is equal to 2 arc tangent of z. And then we now look for sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, and d theta. Because... Uh, what we are looking for is the integral of dx over 3 plus 5 cosine of x, okay? Now, to look for sine theta, we will be using the double angle identity for sine. That's sine 2 theta equals to sine theta cosine theta. And uh, this double angle identity gives us a hint that sine theta is equal to 2 sine half theta cosine half theta. So we will now replace sine half theta here 
by this quantity and cosine half theta by 1 over the square root of 1 plus z squared. Doing it so, so you have sine theta equals 2 times z over the square root of 1 plus z squared times 1 over the square root of 1 plus z squared. Multiplying these two, you got 2z over 1 plus z, z squared and that is our sine theta. Okay? Then for cosine theta, we use the double angle identity for cosine. That's cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay? And then doing the same, cosine theta is equal to cosine squared half theta minus sine squared half theta. Then replacing cosine half theta by this and sine half theta by this, you'll have the quantity 1 over the square root of 1 plus z squared squared minus the quantity z all over the square root of 1 plus z squared quantity squared. And then simplifying further, raising this to the second power, we get 1 over 1 plus z squared. And then again, raising this to the second power, you get z squared over 1 plus z squared. And therefore, writing this as one fraction, you have your cosine theta equals 1 minus z squared all over 1 plus z squared. And then for tangent theta, since we already have our sine theta and cosine theta, okay, we will use these two properties to arrive at tangent theta, and that is sine theta over cosine theta. Leading us with, this is your sine theta, 2z over 1 plus z squared, all over cosine theta, 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared, okay? So, and you will notice that both the denominators are equal, so you can now cancel it out, leading you with tangent theta is equal to 2z over 1 minus z squared. And the only thing left to look for is d theta. We already have our sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, and then we only need to look for d theta. So, which means when you were given... Uh, 1 over f of theta and f of theta contains cosecant, you just get the reciprocal of this. For secant, you just get the reciprocal of this. And then for cotangent, get the reciprocal of this. Okay? So, for d theta, again, from this substitution, theta is equal to 2 arctangent of z. And then you recall that the derivative of arctangent of x is dx over 1 plus x squared. And therefore, differentiating d theta equals d theta, and then 2 times the derivative of arc tangent c is equal to dz over 1 plus c squared, and therefore d theta equals 2 dz over 1 plus z squared. So which means sine theta, cosine theta, tangent theta, and d theta shall be used to replace the expression in our integral. Okay? So going back with our problem, listed above is the uh, substitution properties. And then we now integrate dx all over 3 plus 5 cosine x, okay? So we will now let z equals tangent half x since the variable of integration here is x. Then we just replace theta by the variable of integration in this uh, example is x. And then we have cosine x here. So cosine x is 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared, and we have dx here, so dx is 2dz over 1 plus z squared. And then we are now ready to replace uh, the integrand by dx, that's 2dz over 1 plus z squared. Then all over 3 plus 5 cosine x is 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared. And then the only thing left to do is to simplify this algebraically. Okay, So you have 2dz over 1 plus z squared, then writing this as one fraction, so you get the LCD 1 plus z squared, then 3 times the quantity 1 plus z squared, plus then 5 will be distributed each term inside here. So you get 5 minus 5z squared. And then again, you will notice that the denominators are equal. So you can drop it off, leading you with the integral of 2dz introduce 3 each term here. So 3 plus 3z three squared plus 5 minus 5z squared. And simplifying further, you will get integral of 2dz all over 8 minus 2z squared. And then again, by common monomial factor, 2, 8, 2, the least common multiple is 2, then you can just draft up to each term, leading you with integral of dz all over 4 minus z squared. And then, as you can notice, the resulting formula here is integral of dz over 4 minus z squared, which we can now use 
a direct uh, straightforward integration formula, a derived formula, the integral of du over a squared minus u squared. So here we will say that a squared should be larger than u squared, okay? And that is equal to 1 over 2a ln of a plus u all over a minus u plus c. Again, our integral dx over 3 plus 5 cosine x is equal to the integral of dz over 4 minus z squared upon using this substitution. So we will now let a squared be equal to 4, u squared equals to z squared. So you have a equals 2, u equals z, and du is dz. And then you now have 1 over 2a, that's 1 over 2 times 2, that's 1 fourth from the formula, 1 over 2a. So where a is 2, so 1 over 2 times 2, that's 1 fourth. Ln of a plus u all over a minus u, that's 2 plus z all over 2 minus z. So therefore, uh, writing this back to the original variable in terms of x, z will be replaced by tangent half x. Okay, and then the final answer would have been equal to 1 fourth ln 2 plus tangent half x all over 2 minus tangent 1 half x then plus c. Okay, okay next. Say so we wish to integrate integral of dy all over 1 plus sine y plus cosine y. So the variable of integration here is y. So we will let z equals tangent half y. So we have sine y, 2z over 1 plus z squared, cosine y, and then dy. And then we replace everything here. So you have dy, 2dz over 1 plus z squared, all over 1 plus sine y, 2z over 1 plus z squared, plus cosine y, 1 minus z squared, or all over 1 plus z squared. And then again, simplifying this algebraically, you have 2dz all over 1 plus z squared, all over, write this as one fraction, get the LCD, 1 plus z squared, and then multiply it to 1, you got 1 plus z squared, copy 2z, and then copy 1 minus z squared. Then again, equal denominators, you can drop it off, okay? And then, that lead you to 2dz to all over 2 plus 2z. So this is z squared minus z squared, that is 0. Then 1 plus 1 is 2, then 2z, okay? And then again, there's 2, 2, 2, you can drop it off. So that will become integral of dz all over 1 plus z. And then uh, this integral will lead you to an ln function. That's d of the form d over u. So that's ln 1 plus z plus c. And then again, <clears throat> we will replace z by tangent half y. So finally, the integral of dy all over 1 plus sine y plus cosine y is equal to ln 1 plus tangent 1 half y plus C.